Build is California's largest two-story gingerbread house, so big you can walk through it. KPX5 Sharon Chin takes us behind the scenes of a holiday tradition that returns to a San Francisco hotel. This is the Victorian house that Sugar built. A centerpiece in the lobby of San Francisco's Fairmont Hotel towers at 22 feet tall and 23 feet wide. Up to eight people can even dine inside one of its rooms. <laughs> the giant gingerbread house returns after a COVID break last year, delighting children like Eva Rosenberg. I thought it was just a regular like part of the building, but then when I got closer, I realized it was a house. It's really cool and like it just must have taken so long. It took months of work to open in time for Thanksgiving weekend. Thanks to folks like Baker and bricklayer Rudy Gonzalez. It's kind of hard, but I enjoy to do. Yeah, because um, it's my passion. <laughs> it's my passion to do. The wooden framework goes up in two days in early November. 1,500 pounds of royal icing glue together about 3,000 gingerbread cookies. Executive chef Michael Quigley gave Rudy the task of baking all 3,000 plus bricks starting in July. I wanted one person baking the bricks so they all look the same. If I had four or five different people doing it, the shade of uh, the color might be a little different, the shape might be a little different. While Rudy is a 12 year veteran of this confectionery construction, it's Chef Quigley's first year as the chief builder. I'm not losing sleep anymore. Like it was before. For a couple of months there was the last thing I thought about before I fell asleep and the first thing I thought about when I woke up. Part of the challenge, making sure he's ordered enough candy decorations. This year, the house honors sees Candy's 100th birthday. Hundreds of pounds of its signature sweets, like wrapped chocolate Santas, candy canes, and hard candy, embellish an already tempting treat. Mmm, this is so good. You can walk right up to the gingerbread house and children like to break off pieces of gingerbread and break off pieces of candy. So I have my elf crew that comes in at night and uh, makes all the repairs. Thank goodness he's ordered hundreds of extra bricks. Even the bakers couldn't resist. Well, I taste it when I bake it. I taste it. Sometimes I drink with a, a little coffee with a, a little piece of ginger cookies because it's really good, you know. Six-year-old Aiden Jovez didn't even have to taste it to like it. I like the lights. I'm working for them, you know, to make them happy to see everything in here. It's a labor of love, building a happy home for the holidays. In San Francisco, Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. <laughs> Yummy to walk under and see the gingerbread up close. There is a $10 charge for people who are not Fairmount Hotel or dining guests. Net proceeds benefit Make-A-Wish Greater Bay Area. Mm.